Hi everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood hanger hobbit here. Welcome to another episode of Old Harry's Cheap Buys. Today we are looking at the P40 Lafayette for the French. Rank 2, battle rating 2.7. This is going to be just 425 GE during the sale, so it's cheap. Yes, or you could get it in the pack with the tank, but eh, uh, B1 Tour has seen better days. I mean, you do get some free freaking premium time and some SL, so it's not really a bad deal with that. It's just, oh God, the, the B1 turret up here, it hurts. It hurts bad. But that said, if you want a cheap way to grind the French, yeah, getting a tank with this is not a bad deal. Oh, hello, little Daka Wagon. How are you doing today? Oh, yes, thank you. Belts are below, but honestly, yeah, this is the early war belt, so I don't think it really matters that much which belts you pick. They're all pretty much AP smackers, and yeah, the AP on this thing works pretty good. Oh, I have to say, I have always had a soft spot in my heart for the P40s. They're decently agile, they got good top speed, they're just good all-arounders. Ooh, that's a nice creek. Yeah, you can do a little bit of dogfighting with it, you can do some booms and zooms. Yeah, you can pretty much do a little bit of everything in one of these. Oh, that's it. Pull up for me. Thank you. Oh. No shoot friends. No shoot friends. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing you got to watch out for, though, is, yeah, you get tons of guys that will happily shoot through you because, well, this is low tier and you get some dumb shits. Oh, yes. Come on. Turn fight me. Come on. Be a stupid American. Yes. There you go. That's a great idea. Try to turn by the P-40 in a Cobra. Yeah, because you're not heavy or anything. Uh, my shots are a little off, though, because, God, it's been a while since I fired the Freedom Cows. Yeah, most of the stuff I've been flying has got 20 mils or, yeah, different size cannons. And, yeah, that said, you do get a buttload of ammo with this, so a little spraying and praying never hurt anybody. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, as I was saying, the nice thing about these is you can do a little bit of turn fighting. You can do a little bit of the boom and the zoom. And if you take this into ground forces, or you get some douchebag that's camping his runway, this thing gets a 500 and two 100 pounders. So yeah, not a bad loadout. Not at this BR. Good lord, that'll freaking smack. I'm just going to speed things up here for a little bit because, yeah, it's going to take a minute to find the last dude. And you will have to let me know in the comments if you want me to do some cheap buys on some of the tier threes. But, yeah, some nations, I'm looking at you, Sweden, they don't really get any good cheap tier threes. And a lot of them, even if they do have a tier three, it's not, you know, really cheap. That's the thing about old Harry's cheap buys. I look for stuff that's really, really cheap. Stuff where you could get yourself like one for this nation, one for that nation, one for somebody else. Yeah, something where you can, if you've got multiple trees, because I know a lot of guys that are like, all I've got is this tree and that's it. So I need stuff that will help me grind some of the other trees so I can get to tier three, start doing freaking war bonds and battle passes and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's what you really need with old Harry cheap buys. I look for stuff where you can get you enough cheap stuff that you can get yourself two or three trees going and not have to suffer because, oh God, Tier 1 France, that is Suffertown, USA. Oh, those early 7.5s, hello there. What a lovely fire. Yeah, pretty fires, lovely fires. And, of course, the dirt bag's trying to steal it. What a shot. Yeah. That is one thing you find with 50 cows is people do love to steal the things. Oh, well. I've used up all my ammo, so if he gets it... Nope, I got it. Yay. There we go. Yeah, you will find with the early war 50 cows, you will start a lot of fire, so be ready to dodge douchebags. Because this is War Thunder, and any time you start a fire, five guys are going to start shooting at it. Hey, four kills. Second place. Not going to complain about that. Oh, heck no. 
Come on, Gaijin. God, why is he so slow? Gaijin, this, this is sad. This is too slow. Thank you. And let's see how she paid. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, and this was just the average run. I didn't even kill any ground stuff. So, yeah, if you want something really cheap to get your French tree started and get past the, oh, my God, tier one, why does this hurt so bad? Take a look at the P40 Lafayette. It handles good. Its guns are good. It gets a decent palm load. It looks pretty. I mean, look at it. Doesn't that look pretty? Heck, yeah, it's a nice little all-arounder. The great thing is, once you know how to fly a P-40, the P-40 is in multiple trees. You got the Chinese, you got the Russians, you got the American. This one, damn near everybody flew the P-40 in the war. So grab you one, have some fun. Well, I hope these cheap buys help you find some stuff for the sale, and I hope to see you up there in the clouds. Have a good one, y'all.